Deputy President. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, the Chairman of the Board of Directors, KRIA, the Acting Commissioner General, senior officials and members of staff of KRIA, good morning. Good morning. Your Excellency, it's always a pleasure to accompany you around the country as you make various interventions for the economic transformation of our great republic. Your Excellency, you have become the foremost ambassador that the way to build our country is not to borrow, but to generate our own revenue for both our recurrent and development expenditure. Your Excellency, on behalf of all those who work under you, I want to encourage you that you are on the right trajectory. The way to build a country the way to transform a country's economy is to harness our own resources. I know many people are uncomfortable that you have made a policy shift from borrowing money from external sources and internally to creating our own revenue base to fund and finance our expenditure. Your Excellency, you are under pressure across the country to build roads. As we speak today, we have paid in bills over 900 billion for roads that have stored, and those roads need to be unlocked, and money must be gotten from somewhere. As we speak, we have elderly persons who receive the cash transfer program whose money needs to be collected. And that is why all of us and the people of Kenya must support you that we must collect taxes, we must seal all the loopholes, and ensure that we have a seamless and efficient revenue collection system to further our both recurrent and development expenditure. So we want to urge our detractors, those who are all over having issues, that there is a deliberate effort to make tax collection efficient and to collect taxes due to give us an alternative model on how to deal with our budgetary requirements as a country. Because short of correcting revenue, the other, the other only available avenue is to borrow money. And this money must be paid someday. And had we continued with the arrangement that was there, Your Excellency, of borrowing money every day, this country would have had an economic shutdown in another two, three, four years. So, Your Excellency, we want to encourage you that what you, have, you are pursuing is the right in economic intervention, and in the fullness of time, the people of Kenya will come to appreciate. Before I call Your Excellency, I want to encourage the officers of the Kenya Revenue Authority to be a professional organization. The year before, this organization was used in a negative manner to persecute people politically using taxation. And that should never have happened, and it should never happen again. We want to assure you that President William Ruto and those of us who work under him will never ask you to use taxation to pursue those who are opposed to his leadership. If there are people, and they are there who are opposed to his leadership, they will be handled politically. And the political way is where he is a master and I assist him in managing politics in a political way. We shall never ask you as KRA officials to help us to manage politics, to ask you to deal with our opponents. That is not your work. Your work is to prudently and in a very pragmatic manner to collect all taxes due for the benefit of the people of this country. And we want to commend you so far. Kenyans are happy that there is no harassment, there is very proactive engagement where people are unable to pay, you are able to sit down with them, agree on a payment plan that is practical for the benefit of this country and for posterity. With those very many remarks, please be upstanding and help me to usher in the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. Karibu, Mr. President.
Asante Sana, Bwana Deputy President. Please let's take our seats. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Asante Nisana, Kwa Kutukaribu.